uh, students uh, we will see the experiment 2 in wireless communication lab uh, multi path fading channel simulation simulation of multi path fading channel using matlab so first you have to open the matlab just click on matlab so actually this experiment uh, the Rayleigh fading and Rizian fading uh, we are going to use the Simulink library which is available in MATLAB okay with the help of the Simulink library okay uh, we are going to uh, plot the diagram and the wiring will be done then we are going to execute it okay so you can see here there is a Simulink library so click on the Simulink library So it will take some time to open. So here you can see all the libraries, okay, all the components which are all available, okay. But everything what we are going to do uh, for this experiment, it will be in communication system toolbox, okay. So uh, first I am going to uh, complete for the relay fading. So in communication system toolbox, just expand the communication system toolbox, and uh, the first component uh, we need is uh, Bernali binary source so in communication system toolbox uh, in channels in communication sources in random data sources you can find uh, Bernali binary generator I repeat once again communication system toolbox so in that uh, communication sources so then click on random data sources in that you can find Bernoulli binary generator okay so first I have to uh, create a project so what I have to do means uh, click on file new model okay and I am going to save this with a name for example if I am saving this if I am going to save this Okay. So if I am going to save this uh, uh, in with the name Akila, okay. So just save it. So now you can see my project name it is Akila. Okay. So now uh, this uh, Bernali binary generator. So just you have to add to Akila. My project it is Akila. So the second one, then the next next block uh, we need to have is PSK. So again I'll be going with the Simulink library, communication system toolbox. So in uh, QPSK actually it comes in a modulation. So click on modulation. So it is a digital uh, baseband modulation. Click on digital based modulation. And QPSK we know that it comes in a phase modulation. In phase modulation QPSK modulator and demodulator is there. So click on QPSK modulation. Okay so add to Akila. Then the third block we need to add is fading. So the first we will see relay fading. So the Rayleigh fading actually it is available again uh, expand the communication uh, system toolbox. So then click on the channels. So here you can see for Rayleigh. So for Rizian we have to select this block. So multipath Rayleigh fading. So add to Akila. Then uh, what then I need uh, the display. Okay so the display actually it is available again in communication system toolbox expand it in communication sync you can find constellation diagram and i diagram okay so both the blocks i have to add so add to akila so add to akila so now if i go to my project uh, i can see so all the whatever i have selected it is available next just i have to complete the wiring okay so place uh, this is what the block diagram we have we are going to complete and uh, now make the connections by using wiring so it should not be like in red if it is in red it is not connected so may ensure that it is in uh, solid black color and similarly the second block uh, second block uh, QPSK and relay fading I am going to connect so now I am going to connect with the eye diagram and uh, so 
wherever this symbol is available from there start the wiring so that it will be easy for you to complete so now i have completed okay so next what i have to do means for each block uh, for bernoulli binary generator and qpsk modulator and multipath relay fading i have to apply the parameters okay i have to substitute the values correct values and then i have to execute okay so now uh, for bernoulli just what you have to do for substituting the values just do the double click okay so double click uh, so probability of zero the value will be 0.5 initial seed value change to 50 sample time change to point 001 and frame based output click on the frame based output samples per frame change to from 1 to 100 and the output data type it should be double okay so now we have completed remember students so this is the value you have to substitute click on apply then click on ok now coming to the modulator again do the double click so for the qpsk modulator the the phase value it remains pi by 4 itself the constellation you have to change this to binary and input type you have to change to bit so click on apply then click on ok next uh, just do the double click as usual do the double click so for the relay maximum uh, maximum doppler shift is 40 and here doppler spectrum type jx itself and for discrete path delay vector and average path gain vector within a square bracket change the values as like this 0 1 2 3 again here change the values like this 0 1 2 3 just scroll down then the normalize it should be uh, tick okay it is, it is already tick uh, just maintain the same and initial seed value it is 73 maintain the same value just click on these three options okay open channel complex path gain gains port and channel filter delay port just click on so again uh, click on apply then So we are missing out a square bracket here. So put it properly. So click on apply then click on ok. Okay. So now we have completed. We are going to simulate it. Okay. Just click on this execution. So now you can see we are getting the output. And this is the output for relay fading. Uh, the impulse response output. And this is the I diagram. It is running with respect to time. So it is in continuous motion. You can uh, see and constellation diagram. Okay. So now again I am going to do for Rissian. Again for Rissian what you have to do instead of Rayleigh. So you have to uh, remove this sun. So again the same project itself uh, I am doing it. When you are doing you can do it as a two different project. Okay. So I am going to delete this Rayleigh block. Okay again go to the library so in library uh, communication system toolbox so in communication system toolbox click on the channels so here you can find the multipath resin fading just add to Aquila and now again go to your project Okay, now I am going to connect this. So actually what you have to do means uh, try to delete uh, these and Okay, so fix this CN, CN block do the wiring so if it is in red color try to delete and do it once again okay 
so now we have completed next we have to uh, fill the parameters for recent block okay for recent block again do the double click so uh, note on uh, note on the value students and k factor should be 1 just maintain the same and doppler shift 0 initial phase 0 uh, maximum doppler shift 40 so just maintain the same value 1 doppler spectrum it should be j uh, jacks and discrete parts uh, delay vector okay here we have to do the changes okay discrete path delay vector and average path delay average path gain vector substitute the values as 0 space 1 space 2 space 3 and average path gain vector 0 within square bracket 0 space 1 space 2 space 3 and so just scroll down so normalize the average path gain it, it should be tick mark and maintain the same and initial seed value should be 73 maintain the same and just click on the three options it is showing click on this so click on apply and click on ok ok so now I am going to execute this so already we have done the parameter settings for Bernali and QPSK so now we completed for region so click on execute so so we are getting the three outputs the impulse response the eye diagram and the constellation diagram okay students uh, try to practice this and then it will be very easy for you so this is the block diagram first you have to complete the block diagram then uh, set the parameters and execute and get the output okay thank you students